What's up everybody, my name is Streetbandit64, and welcome back to Yoshi's Story! In the last episode, we handled Piranha's Grove. Ooh, I didn't like it, but we got through it, you know, fine, we're fine, made it through okay, no lost Yoshi, struggled a little bit, and in today's episode, we're gonna actually handle a level that I actually really like, and it's called Shy Guy Limbo. Uh, who am I gonna take with me on a limbo? Who haven't we seen in a while? Uh, let's do green, actually. I think green hasn't had a t chance to shine yet. So yeah, hope you guys are doing well today. Um... Whoa. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I just came back from, uh, from a shower because I just exercised at the time of uh, me recording this. So, you know, I'm all ready and relaxed, ready to handle a new episode of all this. Um, let's see. Oh god. So, the reason why this uh, level's called uh, Shaga Limbo... Oh yeah, if you want to sniff something out, you get this cool pop-up thing, and you just climb up here. But uh, the reason why it's called Shaga Limbo is because there's actual shy guys doing limbos. Who would've thunk? So you got a limbo, limbo pole, and uh, you also got some black twos flying around here. Really cute twos. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Quickly eat fruit. There we go. Dead. So yeah, uh, I do believe some of the- there's a-, a um, there is this one of the special hearts a little harder to find. Um, we're not gonna find it right away yet, um, just because- oh yeah, I think there's also something special up here that I need to look out for. I think. I don't- I don't think it's that important though. But uh, one of the special hearts here is pretty hard to find. Because uh, I think you would honestly just have to essentially use the sniffing technique because that's how you're supposed to find it. And it's not something you would find otherwise. Oh, ow. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Oh no. Oh, this is going so well. But yeah. Uh, so just be careful of the lack of twos because that's also going to be kind of a big problem here in this level. Just because they are going to throw uh, giant spiked balls, and you don't really want you don't really want that, and it can easily uh, get in the way of whatever you're trying to do. You know, just be careful with that. Let's whoop two. Let's see, right there. Luckily, I think the only time you need them is when you're doing an all melon run. So I wouldn't worry about having to um, do that, since I'm just kind of playing this by collecting everything and not necessarily doing a melon run. Uh, I'm okay. It's not a worry about that. Oh god. Oops. Eat, eat, eat. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm trying to think about what I can talk about today, but I really don't think I have a lot to talk about. Um, oh, uh, I've actually started a new game. I don't think I brought it up yet, but I've started um, a Bayonetta on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, before I continue that, hit this. That pops up this heart. That's not the hard one, but you need a. If you don't hit that, I don't think it comes back, and you'll probably have to start the level again if you don't hit that. So, but yeah, I started playing Bayonetta. Uh, I think I made it to up to chapter six because that's how the game goes. So, according to uh, my aunt, who also who who just played it and finished it, I'm getting close to halfway through the game. Uh, I recently just got the ability to do to turn into a panther, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm about close to halfway through the game, I'm not you know, quite there yet, but you know, I'm pretty excited though, because I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, I recently, I used, I was playing it on the easy level, just because uh, I just kind of wanted to get used to it, and because I played it on normal the first time, and I got my, I got my ass head and handed to me. Oh, I should not eat that. Okay, that's why I'm losing health. Oh, let's not eat that. Those are poisonous. Don't do what I just did. Um, yeah, so I played on easy at first just because I was getting my butt handed to me. And then I decided to go ahead and play it on um, normal. And now that I actually played it on, um, oh, let's not do that. Now that I played it on uh, easy, now that I said to normal, like I'm having an easier time now, just because I feel like I'm just uh, not having to um, struggle as much as I thought I would. So, oh God. i to be careful here. But yeah, so that's what I've kind of been up to as of late in regards to like gaming on my own time versus on my channel. Um, I gotta do, I think, another stream soon here for um, 
for, what's the game I'm playing? Twilight Princess, Twilight Princess. I gotta do another stream for that sometime soon. Oh no, let's not, with you. Oh god, oh god. Dude, how dare you throw your nasty water. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, right here I think. Wait, I gotta find it. I gotta sift it out. Okay, not this one. But this is where the second one, the second special heart you're gonna come across is. Okay, it's not that one. I know there's a couple of hidden. Call it hidden fruits. It's this one? Yeah, right here. That's the second one, and then we're gonna come up with the third one pretty soon. We're actually getting through this level pretty quickly, actually. Um, because according to my timer, we're only at six minutes. Which is dang. <laughs> I'm not ex I didn't expect it to get through pretty quick here. But, um, yeah. So that's what I've been doing on the side in, in regards of, like, gaming on my own time. Uh, oh, up here is where I think the third special heart is. Um... Oh, cool. Yeah. My, uh, my game before Bayonetta, though, I don't know if I quite mentioned it. I was playing uh, Mega Man uh, 11 on the PS4. So. And, I had, and that game is very difficult, actually, Mega Man 11. Uh, since I'm not somebody who plays Mega Man, like, uh, as a kind of like a main game, or it plays it, you know, all the time, I just played it on casual. And even on casual, uh, that game is very tough. Miss Warp, how you do how you do one? How you do one? Um yeah, I think that's honestly it for this level. So that was actually very quick. I'm surprised that went as quickly as it did. Eat up. Bum 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 bum. Yoshi. Yeah, I'm surprised that was very quick. Cause usually I'm as of late, I think I'm, as of late in the recordings, I've usually been hitting like the 10 mark and whatnot. And I'm <laughs> literally this is literally seven minutes and uh, 20 seconds in, according to my timer here. So, th that was that was a fairly easy level though, so... Alright, gotta read this. The sun was shining, so the Yoshis began to happily sing. Out came the little shy guys who kept the beat while the Yoshis danced. And the Yoshis did so with more grace than you'd ever expect from a dinosaur. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. That was actually a very sweet one. <laughs> Usually they're all about like, oh my god, the Yoshis, like they, like, they, like, you know, they struggled to get through here. No, this one was like, oh. And they, yeah, they had a party. They went to, they went to Shy Guy Coachella. That's essentially what that, basically the synopsis of that was. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it for this episode. That was very short. Um... Yeah, and actually, now that I think about it, after the after the, this um, this level here, what what what's the third one called? After, because we're not gonna get to it in this one, because like I've been reserving a level for per episode. So after Ghost Castle, we're actually gonna be very close to finishing this. Uh, I think technic if I'm thinking correctly, well, we've only got seven more episodes left, but we're coming coming very close to this. Uh, coming to a close to this uh, let's play which I'm you know very excited for and um, you know a little bit you know it's a little bittersweet too just because um, I've been really enjoying uh, revisiting this game even with like all the struggles and whatnot so just like I hope you guys have been enjoying my you know the, the let's play itself as well just because you know you know because you know, this has kind of been like a little fun hobby of mine you know so it's like you know, as long as I'm enjoying it, you know, that's good. But I also want to make I, make sure that you guys enjoy it as well with my commentary, my gameplay and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so like I got to start thinking of another game for this for the my for my next Let's Play. I think I have an idea of what I want the next one to be, but I'm not too sure if there is going to be another contender for it. Because I'm thinking like I won't say what it is yet, but I'm thinking along a, another a Game Boy Advance game. Of, I want to do, to do next, especially with uh, the retro tink that I have. So that's gonna look very nice. But yeah, um, so I think in Game Boy Advance I could change my mind, but we'll see, we'll see. 
So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Uh, thank you so guys so much for watching. Uh, just before I go, if you haven't followed me on YouTube yet, I would appreciate it appreciate a, a subscription to my channel. Uh, also, if you're not following me on Twitch, same name, StreamBandit64, I'd appreciate a follow in there. That's where I do streaming. Uh, I'll do all my streams and whatnot, and I'm currently playing through, as of this um, as of this episode, uh, Twilight Princess HD, Hero Mode with the Ganondorf Amiibo. It's very difficult. I've died, a, I've died very many times. Um, also, if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, I would appreciate a follow on at least one of those just so you can keep uh, updated with me because that's where I post um, when I upload uh, videos to YouTube and when I'm streaming and whatnot. So as long as you follow me on one of those, I'd appreciate it just so you're, you're updated on everything. So yeah, in the next episode, we're going to handle the ghost castle. And then after that, we've only got six more episodes left. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. And also, it's a bit bittersweet too. But, you know, it's always good to look forward to some new things. All right. So, yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. And my name is Street 64 And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces!